Alright guys, well, I must say this is ironic, <laughs> but not surprising, uh, not surprising, so it is my last day in all Mexico, it is this, what could be considered to be a spectacularly gorgeous, although there are a few clouds moving in now, it is a Sunday, it is Sunday, February 12th, 2023, so uh, I am enjoying my last day along, uh, I guess this is actually um, along the shore of Laguna Azul, Blue Lake. I've been thinking I've been at uh, Bacalar Lake, but I learned last night this is actually a separate lake. Laguna Azul, Blue Lake. And I think we all can figure out the reason for that, although with these gray clouds blowing in, uh, not quite as blue as it was a few minutes ago, but the operative word in that last sentence was blowing in. And so here I am freezing on the banks of Laguna Azul in Chulha, Mexico. So I, I was actually wearing long pants and a long sleeve shirt this morning. Fortunately, I left on the long pants, but when I left the hotel, I made the blunder of taking off my long sleeve shirt and putting on a very lightweight short sleeve shirt after being in Mexico for 16 days and knowing that uh, it was soon going to be sweltering and uh, that there was no way I was going to need a long sleeve shirt uh, 10 miles north of Belize in the southernmost extreme southeast corner of Mexico. Uh, so I left the long sleeve shirt at home instead of putting it in my bag and here I sit and I'm literally going to just have to fold things up here <clears throat> and it's a long way back. I'm about a kilometer uh, from my hotel room. I'm literally going to have to pack my bags because of this cold north wind. And when I say north wind, I mean I, I am on the very, very southern point and this wind is coming straight from the north right across this lake. Fortunately, I was I was bitching about these this curtain of branches blocking my view of the lake. But uh, without these branches here, I would be getting blown over. I mean, there is nobody out there. I see. I don't see one kayak out there today. I sure as hell don't see anybody swimming. Uh, you can't see it. I'm looking at that four-story diving platform. There is nobody swimming. There is nobody diving. I do not see one single hottie in a bikini lying out uh, sunbathing in any direction. I, uh, we do not have one single beautiful young woman uh, sunbathing today. Good God. Uh, I guess I heard some rumor that uh, it's going to be cold in South Florida tonight. and. Uh, so, but I'm looking at the weather forecast where we're heading into San Ignacio, Belize. So, uh, it is 77 degrees in San Ignacio, Belize. And that's up in the hills of Belize. So, the high today is 77 and the low is going to be in the 50s tonight. So, this is just what you know I spent years in co both you know in Costa Rica a lot of travel in Guatemala so I've always thought that whenever you wanted to cool off in Central America 
uh, and the same is true for Peru and Ecuador for that matter you just you know you just go up in the hills so I did not do my due diligence about San Ignacio Belize and just thought that by going up in the hills that what you know we reserved this house for two weeks and this is you know San Ignacio Belize is where I thinking that I might end up spending my winter so without doing my due diligence I uh, figured that where I was going to be headed uh, in February was where the high was going to be about 77. I was picturing 76 to 82 in the day and I don't know 58 to 64 in the evening which is exactly what it's going to be in San Ignacio Belize today which apparently is the coldest day they've had in San Ignacio Belize in uh, maybe five years. So we're going to go spend uh, two days and nights. We're going to go check out Key Calker. Uh, you've probably heard of that, which is, you know, uh, an island, you know, off the coast of Belize. So it's going to be pretty warm there. So we arrive in uh, San Ignacio, I guess it's Wednesday afternoon, we're going to pull in and I'm looking at the weather forecast, it's going to be 93, 93 when we arrive in San Ignacio and it is going to be 95 degrees on Thursday on our first real day. Uh, so I am sitting here on Sunday freezing in uh, Chulha, Mexico, wishing to hell I had my long sleeve shirt. I'm about ready to go put some goddamn socks on my feet when I, I get back. And then, uh, but don't worry, I will be dreaming of this day. 95 degrees in San Ignacio. And uh, I have heard the hills in San Ignacio the our landlord our Airbnb host described after you know he had gotten his money for our two week rental described the hill leading up to our house as nasty a nasty hill and so then I started, you know, we were thinking about renting bicycles. We know we're going to be there for two weeks, so I go on about renting bicycles in San Ignacio, Belize, and quickly uh, my internet search turned up the fact that you're, nobody rides bicycles in San Ignacio, Belize because of the wicked hills. So we have wicked, nasty hills in the 95 degree heat and wondering why nobody uh, rides bicycles in San Ignacio, Belize. Although uh, there are plenty of places to rent scooters. So if you want a, a scooter with a motor to take you up the nasty wicked hills they can be found but nobody is going to rent you a bicycle because there is no way to make money renting bicycles in San Ignacio Belize so uh, <laughs> oh god so this is my final day in Mexico after you know getting close to dying of heat stroke yesterday I could have done what I did yesterday today it is 15 degrees colder today than it was yesterday with this stiff wind blowing off the lake after I took that slog through hell and that wilting sunshine yesterday and the wet bulb temperatures yesterday and here I am freezing my gringo ass a day later. Good fucking God, it, you know, <laughs> this doesn't end, uh, 
So I guess I will head back to my head back to my room and join my buddy who uh to his credit he actually did take a walk this morning. He actually walked down to the lake and promptly turned right around and went back to the hotel to uh go shut the door and lay in his bed in a closed hotel room surfing the internet while I sit out here in paradise freezing my ass. I'm reading this book, uh, Braiding Sweetgrass by Robin Wall Kimmer, or Kimmer, or, uh, I don't know, at some point the old Doomer will do a review, a Doomer Reviews Braiding Sweetgrass. Braiding Sweetgrass is probably the single most vomit inducing, uh, just, just a complete descent into breeding the joys of being a breeder into the myth of the noble savage and just an absolute descent into bliss ninnydom. It is, it, you, you take everything that makes a doomer want to vomit and you can find it uh, in Braiding Sweetgrass, Indigenous Wisdom, Scientific Knowledge, and the Teachings of Plants. But I will have to come back. I haven't, I don't know whether, I think I might do two reviews of this book, one on Collapse Chronicles and another one on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. But first, I, I'm about a third of the way through it and assuming I can get to the end of this very well written, this very well written uh, descent into uh, just absolute beyond apocalyptic hopium. Another rant for another day. Right now I got to pack up my shit off this frozen wasteland and head back to the hotel and wrap up in a long sleeve shirt. My guys.